Hey, what's up everybody? Chief here. Thanks for checking out my latest video. Uh, if you guys enjoy War Robots, why don't you go ahead and hook this video up with a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on bells for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos or live streams. Okay, so in today's video, I'm actually on my Battle Rack account, and I am going to be maxing out this brand new titan the kid now everybody that is level 30 or higher received the kid along with the uh machine gun weapons for free uh so i decided i would go ahead and make my first focus video for titans featuring the kid so you can see exactly what you might be able to look forward to at some point in the future uh if you are able to max this thing out so um yeah pixonic gave me tons of uh Platinum. Um, I don't know too many people that can afford to uh, just spam a bunch of platinum like this, but uh, I have it on here on the uh, Battle Rack account, so I might as well take advantage and show you guys what uh, you can do with it. So taking a look here at the uh, kids specifically, uh, there are three different areas of the robot to upgrade. Uh, you have the hull, the core, and the engine. Now with the hull, uh, each time you upgrade, you will either get an increase in health or an increase in uh, defense points, which is like uh, your resistance. And uh, maxed out, that goes up to 50. Now, for the core, something that is unique to the kid, uh, other than uh, having his, uh, when he uses his ability, uh, he goes, he increases additional defense points um, by quite a bit, actually. But uh, he actually also has defense mitigation. And if you're not sure what that is, what that does is that is a direct counter to any other robot that is using uh, any kind of resistance. So like your T-Falcon or your Fenrir, things like that. Uh, this will directly counter it. So uh, what is unique about this is that uh, it affects all of the kit's weapons, whereas every alpha weapon uh, for the Titans does have some defense mitigation included with it, but the kit itself does have this uh, special core ability, which gives that ability to all of his weapons, uh, which is nice. Now, for the engine upgrade, that's going to give you some speed, and that is also going to increase his second ability, which is called Stove, which is a 100 meter uh, area effect, which basically lasts for like 5 or 10 seconds, and it burns uh, any enemy robot that is within the uh, radius of that ability. So, here we are. It looks like we are coming up. Um, and there it is, it is maxed out. Took a lot of platinum to do it, but uh, this is what you can expect if you were to max out your kid. Now take a quick look here at the kid itself. Um, it's actually, I, I don't mind the way it looks. It actually looks uh, looks all right, and it does kind of remind me a little bit of the Wild Bunch, which is what it's uh, supposed to be part of. Now a quick look at the uh, weapons here. You've got the Alpha weapon, which is the Vengeance, and like I said, this does have defense mitigation built into it. The same with all of the Alpha weapons for Titans. Um, but uh, it has a range of 500 meters and it is a machine gun. Now here is the uh, Bravo uh, weapon or beta weapon as they call it. Uh, and it is also a machine gun with 500 meters. So now the uh, Titans have two abilities and the first ability is called full action. And what that does is it increases the kid's defense, um, his resistance uh, by quite a bit. And it raises up his alpha weapon so that you can utilize it. Now, the second ability is called Stove, and like I said, that is a 100 meter uh, area effect, uh, which does damage each second to any uh, enemy that is located within it. So, uh, before I get started on some gameplay, I did want to uh, first verify whether or not Titans are affected by boosters. And as you can see here by these pictures, they are definitely affected by boosters. Uh, the top one is the uh, Titan's health with no booster, and the bottom is with a booster. Okay, so here we are. We are going to drop into the uh, first match here, and we are dropping in on Dead City. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Phantom. He's a uh, fun little beacon runner. And, ooh. Not sure why my uh, teammate ditched there. Maybe he saw somebody on the other side he didn't want to go against. But uh, anyway, we will go ahead and continue on. 
picked up one beacon. Now I did do a, a video uh, a few days back showing uh, exactly how much getting beacons and kills is worth uh, for unlocking your Titan. Uh, so definitely check that out if you aren't uh, sure how it works. But uh, let me go ahead and push up here on this left side. Okay, I got a kill. Try and, uh, no, didn't get to uh, take that guy down. And here comes another quick phase shift. Want to avoid this guy's workings. There we go. Took him out, and looks like I am picking up the beacon, which is great. Um, I'm probably going to end up going down here, but uh, let me try and get this guy taken out if possible. There we go. Nice little triple kill there. And uh, I am going down. There we go. Uh, got about half of my Titan bar there, so let me go ahead and drop in with the uh, Ancient Tier. Yeah, take out this uh, Al Guang. There we go, and uh, you know I really do like the uh, the buff that the that the tier received that uh, healing pulse that it has now when it uh, switches into its uh, healing mode is actually pretty significant. But uh, kind of uh, stuck here in a little bit of a pickle. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, didn't really get much action out of the tier. Unfortunately, I uh, kind of wandered a little too far off. So let me go ahead and uh, drop the leech in here, and let me go ahead and, uh, I'm not sure why this guy is still shooting me, but it's uh, going to take him out, quick little double kill there, and let's see if we can't finish off this leech. Phase shift, he is focused on my teammate, but uh, he is going to go down right here. Oh, he got a phase shift in, but uh, I don't think that's going to be enough time to save his bot. And, uh, oh, come on, there we go. All right, a little bit of help from my teammate, but uh, took him down nonetheless. And I'm going to end up going down. Ah, so close to that Titan, too. Um, now, we do still have uh, three beacons, so things are going pretty good. But I really want to unlock that Titan, so I am playing a little bit more aggressive than, uh, well, I'm an aggressive player anyway. But, uh, oh, good. Okay, so that uh, last kill actually uh, unlocked my Titan, so let me go ahead and... I'm not going to try and uh, save this bot too much, uh, so I want to jump into that Titan. But uh, if I could save this beacon, that would be awesome. Let's see if my team... No, my team was not able to uh, hold on to it. But uh, dropping over here with the uh, Titan. Now, the kid is actually the fastest Titan, and even at max level, this thing is ridiculously sh uh, slow. But uh, let's see what we can do damage-wise. And, uh, okay, I got a leech coming at me from the side, it looks. Let's see where... Okay, he's uh, right there in center. Just try to uh, get a little bit of damage. I want to uh, to get up close because I really want to see the uh, damage that I can do with that stove ability. I just activated it there. Um, I don't know if I was able to actually hit that out June. We'll see when he lands if uh, he's missing any. Yeah, so I did get uh, some, some good damage just from him flying over my ability, uh, which is nice. But wow, you know, I, I would think that, uh, that this would have a little bit more resistance. I mean, with the, uh, the 50 resistance points that it uh, has from upgrading its hull and then the uh, 150 from using its ability, uh, you'd think it would be pretty pretty stout, but you can see there I was taking quite a bit of damage. So uh, let me go ahead and see if I can just get a little bit of damage here on this one. Uh, but uh, I'm definitely going to go down, and there I go. So yeah, even at max level, I mean, you can see the kid is definitely not OP in any way. Um, but it, it didn't quite feel as though... Uh, he was resisting the damage as much as maybe he should have. Now I know there have been a couple of uh, other bugs and glitches, especially with like silver and damage uh, to and from Titans. So uh, maybe there is also something along with uh, you know the damage mitigation, or not the uh, mitigation. I'm sorry, the damage resistance. Um, so anyway, um, on the last robot here. Uh, dropped in the uh, Fenrir, one of my favorite robots in the game right now. This thing is an absolute beast. Um, looks like I am taking quite a bit of damage here though with that uh, Ares and the Titan both uh, focusing on me. Let's see if I can't take down the uh, Titan here. There we go. And luckily my uh, last stand has not triggered yet, so let me go ahead and counter heal and 
try and save my last stand a little bit longer. So let me uh, move up here, and I'm not sure what is around the corner. Let's go ahead and uh, try and finish this Ares. Nope, that's not going to happen. Okay, that guy's down, and this Ares is probably going to get me to my last stand. Or not. Nice. Ooh, there's a big guy right there. So, uh, counter heal once again. And let's see if I can't uh, finish off this Titan as well. There goes my last stand. And nice. So, got another Titan down. And there is a third Titan right there. Wow. Okay, so let's... Uh, it's not looking too good for me at this point. Uh, I am going to back out a little bit here. At least out of uh, range of his stove ability. And let's see if we can't just uh, finish him off before I go down. Oh, another Titan. Okay. It's going to be a, a tough tough battle here. Let me uh, get back out. Oh, man, I am so close to dying. Wow. And there goes another Titan. So that was four Titans I've taken down uh, with this one uh, Fenrir. That's, uh, that's actually pretty insane. And uh, I'm barely hanging on. I've got hardly any health left. So let me go ahead and uh, move around. Uh, it looks like the red team is down to uh, their last player, though. So we should be uh, picking up the win on this match. Um, I'd like to say that it was because of my uh, strategic play in my Titan. But unfortunately, uh, I don't think it was. Uh, I think the uh, Fenrir definitely carried this one. And uh, do they have any more? Okay, one more uh, bot here. Um, but uh, as this uh, match wraps up, I think I'll jump into another match for you guys and uh, try to play a little bit more conservative once I unlock the Titan just to, uh, to uh, give it a little bit uh, more of a test. But uh, like I said, I really wanted to see the stove ability to, uh, and, and that does require you to get in close because it's, uh, I think, 100 total meters of uh, radius on that thing. And looks like he's uh, got his Titan and unfortunately didn't finish it off, but uh, I went down right as the match ended. A quick look here at the uh, tape. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, 3.7 million damage, 14 kills, and 3 beacons. So uh, overall, I, that was actually a fun match and great job to the uh, red team. You guys put up a hell of a fight. Okay, so here we are now dropping in uh, on the second match and uh, once again we are on Dead City and this is Beacon Rush. I am going to start off with my Phantom once again, try and pick up some beacons. Wow, that's a uh, fun build there, that Spectre Vortex. And let's go ahead and uh, pick up this beacon and I think I will go ahead and charge up once again and put some pressure on their left beacon. It looks like they are getting center. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, see if we can't steal this side beacon of theirs. Here we go. All right, so they're not really putting up a fight or protecting their beacon, so that's uh, definitely good for my team. Go ahead and uh, scoot back here, take out this raven. There we go. And, uh, okay, that's a lot of damage I'm taking right there. Oh, he's on the other side. Where'd he come from? All right, let's uh, see if we can't catch up to him. Can't, uh, can't have him taking down uh, my bots or my team, but uh, he did get his ability back, so let me go ahead and uh, take down his uh, teammate there. And I'm gonna blink back over here. So, uh, all right, ow, that hurt. And, well, that's an interesting build he had on his Mercury. Uh, I did go down, and uh, we're still down on beacons, so let me go ahead and uh, drop in now with the tier and see what kind of uh, havoc I can create with the uh, tier. This is actually quite a uh, fun robot, and I really enjoy this build. I think it's probably one of the strongest builds for the, uh, the tier right now. And let's get this guy taken down as well. There we go. Get a little healing going. See if we can't uh, help clear some of these guys out of center. Got my teammate over here trying to help. Unfortunately, uh, he did go down. But 
uh, looks like we are clearing them out of center, which is great. Let me go ahead and sneak in there because we do need to pick up a beacon here. So, and I'm actually doing pretty well on the, uh, oh, I've got the, ti the Titan there. So, uh, nice, excellent. So, uh, now that the uh, Titan is uh, unlocked, let me go ahead and uh, push up here and see if I can't uh, maybe take down one more player before I go down. I don't, yeah, I don't have any uh, front shield left. So they did, uh, they did fix the, uh, the bug that made the uh, shield unbreakable on the ancient tier, which is uh, uh, good that they did fix that. Uh, and there goes the tier. So now let me go ahead and drop in with the Titan. Um, and I am over here on their, uh, what is their left uh, home beacon. Uh, so let me uh, try to move into range and uh, see what I can do. Now I will try to uh, play a little more conservative with uh, the Titan this time, but uh, uh, you know, I still want to try and win the match. Okay, so it looks like they dropped one in right there. So let's go ahead and get some damage on that guy. Oh, unfortunately, he has an Aojun buddy, and that uh, Aojun is definitely going to uh, tear me up. Yeah, let me go ahead and uh, try and get around the corner here. And it uh, looks like that Titan is about to go down. So uh, let's try and get this Aojun taken out. Whoa, what is this? There we go. Uh, go ahead and get our resistance up and try and get some damage on this guy. You know, it, it, I don't know, maybe it's just uh, the battle, but it, it really doesn't feel like I'm getting the full resistance there, like I, like I said in the last the last match. But uh, anyway, so I was able to uh, take down that Falcon either way, and now I'm going to, well, I, I got hardly any health left. I would love for Mender to show up right now on my team, but... Uh, me go ahead and uh, come around the corner and see if I can't just get a little more damage before I go down. If this guy looks at me, I'm going to fall over. Oh, and he looked at me. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I like the kid. Um, I just, you know, I, I'm just not a big fan of uh, maybe those weapons on him. And in future videos, I will be rotating all the different uh, Titan weapons uh, around on the different Titans to give you all a look uh, to see which weapons might be the best for uh, your titan or something that you guys might want to target yourself but uh yeah so far the uh, machine guns not too effective in my opinion uh they they seem to have a really bad uh, accuracy i guess uh they just a lot of the bullets miss um so Okay, that was uh, the match though. Um, quick look at the uh, tapes here before I wrap it up. Okay, 2.3 million damage, not too bad. Uh, eight kills and three beacons. Uh, another good job between, uh, or a good fight between both teams there. And like I said, uh, I will be putting out some more videos for not only the, uh, the uh, kid with the different weapons, but also Arthur and Al Ming as well. So stay tuned for those. And until the next video, guys, Chief out.